What's up everyone, this is Auto Talk is Tech, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to take TikTok to the next level using just your voice. Check out these two examples right now. Next. Save. Now the reason this is such a cool iPhone trick is because it frees up slots for back tap. Now for those of you who don't realize how amazing back tap is, Back tap is a feature on the iPhone where you can double tap the back of your iPhone to activate any feature you want. The way you access it is you go to accessibilities, scroll down, and then you want to go and then tap on touch settings. Once you scroll down, you'll see a feature called back tap. So by having this feature enabled, there are two options, two slots that can be used, double tap and triple tap. So when you double tap your iPhone, you can have it set for a certain command. You can have it take a screenshot or something like that. Now, the reason I'm even bringing this up is because on back tap, you can choose to double tap your iPhone and have it scroll up or to triple tap and have it scroll down. Now, it stinks is back tap should be used for other better features. So rather than double tapping and using that wasted feature on scrolling up and down, I'm going to be showing you this awesome voice feature where you can just tell your iPhone with your voice to scroll up or down. So that's where this trick comes into play. Now for this tutorial, you may also know about assistive touch. You can also turn that as a third button that relates to back tap. So you also don't want to use up that slot as well. So for this tutorial, you will need assistive touch turned on, but first you want to go into your voice control settings. You want to make sure this is turned on. Now, once you've done that, scroll down and then tap on attention aware. So once that is turned on, that will be able to read your face to make sure you're looking at the iPhone when speaking to it. This is very important that you have this turned on. Once that's turned on, go ahead and scroll up and then tap on custom commands. Once you've done that, you go ahead and tap on custom. Now I already have a command set, so I'm gonna create a new project. You're gonna do the same and name it down. I recommend you also name it next. So rather than naming it down because I already have a file named next. So name yours next. What also you could do is swipe up like so and then save it. This will be the swiping gesture. So that way every time you say the word next, TikTok will immediately swipe. One thing that's also important is to specify the application that you want this to work in. So scroll down and choose TikTok. So once you find that, it should be at the bottom. Everything's in alphabetical order. Once you found TikTok, go ahead and save that. Now, once you open up TikTok and you say the word next, check out what happens. Down. So I use the word down in this example. You should use next, but you'll notice it didn't work. And here's why and how you can fix it because you might encounter the same thing. If you go back and you edit the custom command that you made, you may realize your swiping gesture was too short. So you're going to want to redo it. Now there's two mistakes you can make. A short swiping gesture, but on top of that, you want to do it fast and immediately save it so that way you can save time when scrolling. Now I'm going to be teaching you how you can download a TikTok just by saying a word. So on TikTok, you'll notice you hold it down and then tap the save button. And I'm going to be teaching you how you can do just that. Now this is a little different because you need assistive touch turned on for this. So you can see once assistive touch is turned on, place the little button by the save button, okay? You wanna line it up exactly. Pretend the, you know, the assistive touch button is a measuring tool. Now what you wanna do is create a same new gesture, but name it save. So we're doing what we did last time, we're just making a new gesture. Now what you wanna do is go by the assistive touch icon, hold for a couple seconds, and then tap. That is the same gesture you use when holding down on a TikTok, when then the save button comes up and then tapping it, and the reason you have it all measured correctly is because of the assistive touch button. The assistive touch button is used to just measure where to hold and then tap. So once you got that out of the way, check this out. I can now save with my voice. Save. And as easy as that, the TikTok is saved. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I got a bunch of cool videos coming your way. And as always, peace.